Hey guys, this is Chaos Effects back again with another launcher guide. Alright, that last one was a joke, but this one is the actual laser combo. Alright, so this combo involves ending the combo with the laser cannon. A pretty solid move. It does about... You can see it, it's doing a little more to him. He's a slayer with a lot of health. For some reason, the NPCs uh, actually gain defense as you get them lower health. So as you keep shooting them, they just get stronger and stronger to the same move, which is strange. See, that one only did 7,000. So anyway, this is really only worth about 5,000 damage. Um, it's amplified for some reason when you first start fighting an NPC. The fully charged one is worth about 10,000 to a character. So the point... Oh, and also, uh, as it's charging, it actually does get stronger. So if you need to charge it for, I think it's 0.9 seconds, if you need to charge it for 0 0.9, 0 0.8 seconds, whatever it is, you only get to 0.6 seconds, you will get that much of a bonus onto your damage. It's It scales up from the base damage to the max damage as you're charging. So anytime you can charge it is always a plus, and I pretty much recommend always fully charging it if you can, because obviously that 10,000 damage is worth that cooldown. Alright, so the combo itself is important. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you get your buffs. Whatever buffs you like, I like Steep Slide and Eagle Eye. I will go into those separately at some point later. Um, I'm going to pause the skill videos at this point because I would like to teach some of the combos so that I don't keep having to hold myself back. You'll see me hit, kick somebody in the air and be like, oh, I didn't want to show them that yet, so I'll just go ahead and stand here while he falls to the ground embarrassingly. So, basically, whenever you launch somebody, whether there's three basic launch moves, there's Steep Slide, there's Marilyn Rose, and there's Rising Shot. Whenever you launch somebody, your goal, if you're, uh, well, it's actually your choice how you want to start it, but the safest way to start any combo is to catch them in a barbecue. So they're in the air, barbecue. Then you shoot them with a Rising Shot. That is the safest way to launch anybody ready for any of your sub weapons, and I do mean any sub weapon. I can follow that up with any sub weapon I want. I can do Gatling Gun if I want to. I can pretty much do any sub weapon you can imagine right after they get launched in the air, especially if I can get them in a barbecue and then Rising Shot. But that is not the laser combo, actually. It is a laser combo, but the real laser combo is much stronger. I, I have had this called the uh, shooting star of launchers because it does disable them for quite a while and it's, it's a great morale killer too, which I think I've mentioned is very important in PvP. Everybody kind of has this idea on how, how good they're going to do and if you knock them out of a great combo or they blow a cooldown and miss, uh, you know they're sighing on the other end and that's just actually going to affect their play just a little bit. They might get more aggressive, they might get more passive, it really depends on the player. But okay, we're all set. Dale has made a terrible error and allowed me to get him in the air. So I'm going to do a barbecue, followed by a rising shot, and then Gatling Gun immediately upwards. This will send him high in the air, and then you can fully charge the laser before he hits the ground. Now what's really important is that this does not happen in the game <laughs> against actual people. Because the NPCs have no weight at all. They're just like PvE. Which, by the way, you might have noticed, I've hit him with every fully charged laser by firing it as soon as it's done. In PvE, you can do that. So, feel free to use this one in PvE, because it's extremely effective. You take some boss monster, you fire him off the screen with your Gatling, you are guaranteed a hit when the laser decharges. Anyway, PvP, not like that at all. Your, charged, your uncharged laser does about 5k, your fully charged laser does about 10k. As it's charging, it will inch toward that. So it's a, I think it's a 0.8 charge. If you only charge it for 0.4 seconds, it'll have half the charge strength when it fires. So any charge is better than no charge. Always charge it as long as you can, but the point of this combo is to catch them before they hit the ground. So you're gonna hit them up, and then you're gonna barbecue them, Gatling, however you need to do it. Then you charge up the laser and hit him when he hits the ground. Now, this means you might have to, after shooting the Gatling and charging the laser, you may have to just fire it. People who have low health are going to fall like rocks to this thing. People who have high health are going to stay in the air, maybe even longer. You're still charging, you're still sitting there, and they are still off the screen. You fire when they get down there. This is the laser combo. It's one of the strongest, but also, the best part about it is every move in it 
has a low cooldown. The longest cooldown is laser, and that is about, I think it's 9 seconds on the cooldown. And of that 9 seconds, you can spend about, I, I don't know, I don't have a timer in front of me, but this seems like this is about 3 or 4 seconds long. So really, you only have to wait about 4 seconds to use this combo. That's pretty darn good considering you just launch them to the other side of the screen, which, by the way, is the best place for them to be against you. I mean, what are they going to do? Walk through all this to get back to you in 4 seconds? Sure, certain classes could. Weapon Master could use their charge ability to get all the way across the screen, but chances are, if you got them with this combo, they're going to be too far away from you to get back before your laser's ready for another round.